Hello friends, this video on motion in a play part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to 11 before going ahead with part 12. Now let us go ahead and relate position vector to displacement. Let us suppose there is a car which is travelling from your home to the church. Somewhat like this. Fine. So what do you see? This car is not moving in a straight line. Right? It is moving in a curvy path where it is neither moving along x-axis nor along y-axis. So it has components of both x-axis and y-axis. So this is a two-dimensional motion. Right? And let us plot a graph for this motion. This is an approximate graph for a motion of a particle in two dimension. Let us suppose we say the position of the particle at any point P1. P1 is the position of the particle at some instant of time. Again, P2 is the position of the particle at some other instant of time. See, in this, when we, when we look at these graphs, we talk of time, but we do not represent time on X or Y axis. Right? So, we virtually talk of time. I mean, you understand it in this way. Now, as time passes, the position of the particle keeps changing. That means, as the position of the particle is changing, that means the time is also elapsing. Right? So, we are not showing time anywhere on the axis. On the axis, what we are showing is motion of the particle along Y axis, motion of the particle along X axis. So, these both represents X and Y represents the position of the particle. Now, what would be the position vector? Now, if I ask you, what is the displacement from point P1 to P2? Let us first draw the position vector of P1. Position vector of P1 would be this. That is, let us denote it by R1. R1 denotes the position vector at point P1. Similarly, at point P2, let us suppose the position vector is denoted by R2. Now, the question is, what would be the displacement of the particle from P1 to P2. So the displacement would be nothing but a straight line joining the initial and the final points. Right? So this would be the displacement. Now let us suppose we denote this displacement as delta r. Okay, we denote it as delta r. So what would be the displacement basically? So let us try to find out. So displacement would be from P1 to P2. Right? So that we have denoted as delta r. So displacement is nothing but the change in the position vector. So the direction of displacement is from along P1, P2. Now from definition of position vector, we can say that r1 is equal to x1 i cap plus y1 j cap because we know that r is equal to x i cap plus y j cap. Similarly, we can say that r2 is equal to x2 i cap plus y2 j cap. I hope you are understanding when I talk of r1, I represent this vector. Similarly, r2. Okay. Now, we know that from the diagram, we can say like from this triangle, we can say that delta r. See, if you look at this figure, you can see that r plus delta r is equal to r2. For any triangle, we already know this thing, right? Let us suppose you have a triangle. You apply the triangle of vector addition. You have, if you have one vector in this direction, one in this direction and the other one, this, this, sum of these two will be the third vector which is in the opposite direction, right? Similarly, in this case, if you see R1 and delta R, they are along the same direction. So, R1 plus delta R will be equal to R2, right? So, from this triangle, using the triangle law concept, you can say that R1 plus delta R is equal to R2. So from this you can say that delta R is equal to R2 minus R1. Now you put the value of R2 and R1. So what you get R2 is x2 i cap plus y2 j cap minus R1 is x1 i cap minus y1 j cap. Now you Take all the i components together and all the j components together. So you get x2 minus x1 i cap plus y2 
minus y1 j cap so what can you say x2 minus x1 that is nothing but the change in this it is the x2 minus x1 represents the change in position along x axis so we can denote it by delta x Similarly, y2 minus y1 denotes the change in position along y-axis which can be denoted as delta y cap and this is equal to displacement. So what do we see? We see that displacement delta r was displacement. So displacement is nothing but the change in the position. Displacement is nothing but the change in position. So delta r is equal to delta x i cap plus delta y j cap. So in terms of two dimension, delta r or displacement is defined as this in terms of delta x and delta y. That is the change in position along x axis and y axis respectively. So friends, please make a note of all these definitions of each vector quantities in your mind because we will use the same things to proceed further. Okay, so now let us go ahead and move to velocity. So in velocity again here we will discuss two things, average velocity and instantaneous velocity. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.